Good morning, class family. It's a magnificent Monday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Start in the top right-hand corner with today's date. March 4th, 2024. Dear class family, today is Monday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will learn letters and sounds. Next, we will go on Lexia and do literacy centers. Then, we will make connections to poems and books. Last, we will write sentences during writing workshop. It is a great day, love Miss Joyner. Oh, it is a great day. Okay, readers, we're gonna look back and reread the message. That's what good readers do. They reread. They do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Oh, and remember, good readers also read from top to bottom and left to right. Start in the top right-hand corner. I noticed how this month is spelled. There's a capital letter M, then A-R-C-H. What does that spell? It does say March. If you knew that, go ahead and pat yourself on the back. Notice the capital letter M to start that month. Good writers and mathematicians capitalize the first letter of each month of the year because it's special and important. They also capitalize the first letter of each day of the week. Okay, readers, let's reread. March 4th, 2024. Dear class family, today is Monday. It is Monday. It's a magnificent Monday. Notice the capital letter T to start and the period at the end. Good writers start sentences with capital letters and end with punctuation marks. Okay, look at the next sentence. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. We do that every day. Working on being a portrait of a graduate. And we're practicing being a great communicator and collaborator by speaking clearly with our mouths and listening with our ears. That's what good communicators do. Okay, class family, we're gonna go ahead and see the order of what we're doing this morning in language arts first, next, then, and last. First, we'll learn letters and sounds, just like we do every day at school in kindergarten. We'll use so many resources, including our word wall. We'll review letters, sounds, pictures to match that letter, American Sign Language, and we're also going to be using some other resources as well. So we have the foundations cards. We have our sound wall in class in the room, as well as one for the smart board, the electronic version. We're using UFLY. And remember, learning how to shape our mouths for all of the consonants and vowels. We'll also be using our My Alphabet book and going all the way from A to Z to review all of the letters and sounds as well as the picture to match. That's what we do every day at school in kindergarten, so we're ready for first grade. Next, we will go on Lexi and do literacy centers. Okay, you'll do dun dun dun, dun Lexia Core 5 reading program. You're gonna log on independently to your iPads, get your time goal met, pass units, focus on your mission. Oh, it's gonna be great. You're gonna do a wonderful job. And then you're also gonna be doing some other centers within the classroom, including writing CVC words down. So remember to tap that CVC word out as you're sounding it out for that beginning, middle, ending sound, and then saying that whole word. And go ahead when you're writing that down in your writing journal, identify each of those letters that you're writing. Oh, and other teachers will be calling you to small groups. So if your name is called, remember to listen the first time and stop what you're doing and go to that teacher. Then we'll make connections to poems and books. We will. We're going to be rereading a poem this week called Winds of March. We're going to be making connections to that. And we also are going to be reading books. But first, we'll go through the poem Winds of March. 
Winds of March, we welcome you. There is work for you to do. Work and play and blow all day. Blow the winter cold away. We'll be reading this poem throughout this week and learning it today and making some connections to that poem because that's what good readers do. Then we'll be reading books and making connections to that as well and sharing our thinking, practicing, practicing being a great communicator and collaborator. Last we'll write sentences during writing workshop. We'll get our resources. We'll write sentences. We're going to do the parts of a sentence song with our friend Jack Hartman. Remember one starts with a capital letter. Two, tells a complete idea. Three, finger spaces between the words. And four, a punctuation mark at the end. We'll be writing sentences with periods at the end today. So remember to start with a capital letter. Good writers leave a finger spaces between the words so the words don't smush together. They sound out each word, and that's where tapping will really help you, as well as our resources like the foundations cards, the sound wall, the word wall, all these different things will help us. And we're doing telling sentences and statements, so you'll be putting a period at the end of those. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. It is a great day, Love Miss Joyner. It is, it's fantastic. What a magnificent Monday. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. Our do you like question in our T-chart of yes or no answers is, do you like the color green? Well, do you? Think about your answer and get ready to be a great communicator and share why. Do you like the color green? And remember, tomorrow, class family, we will not be coming to school. We have da -da -da -da, March 5th, 2024, the presidential primary election for Virginia election. So you will not be coming to school tomorrow and we'll meet again on Wednesday.